of St. Albert the Great was founded more than 55 years ago when 149 families gathered for Sunday Mass at Striver School on Westport Road with Father Robert Willett, our first pastor. The Archdiocese of Louisville recognized the need for a new church and school and soon broke ground for both. St. Albert the Great Grade School, serving 286 students, opened in September 1960, and the first Mass at the new St. Albert the Great Church was held on November 20th, 1960. My uh, family, literally my whole family, is a member of St. Albert the Great. My parents, my sisters, my kids are all still active members. So it's just been a part of my life. Most of my friendships are made here, and uh, I just feel comfortable here. Well, when our children started going to St. Albert, we experienced virtually every sport, academic involvement that existed. Uh, everything that, that St. Albert offered, it was so good for our boys to all be at one school. So when we joined, we had one son, and we had two more sons while we've been members here. We only lived a block from the, from the church, and um, so two were baptized here, three had their first communion here, and all three of them had their confirmation here. And it must have taken, because they all are still participating <laughs> in church. We have been involved in so many committees, I couldn't list them all, because we love being involved. This was our life, and it still is our life. It's our church, and we're still here, and we're going to stay here forever. As the parish and school grew, additional buildings were added. Willard Hall in 1986 and Hendricks Hall in 1995. In September 1998, ground was broken for our existing church since the parish had grown to more than 1,400 families. The church was dedicated in October 2000. The Sacred Heart Center was renovated in 2010 to provide additional meeting spaces. St. Albert the Great is important to me and my family because it allows us to strengthen our relationship with God. Uh, one of the things that we've always looked for is a place where we can feel comfortable worshiping, uh, feel comfortable being around people who share the same values and have the same core beliefs as we do. Over the years, in the 13 years, we've made some lifelong friends here. So it's, it's very important to us um, and it's now a central part of our life. No matter what your talents or your skills, there's always an opportunity and they're always welcoming to you to utilize those talents wherever you, wherever you can. Serving the community and giving back is very important. St. Albert is now a vibrant parish of nearly 1,600 families dedicated to knowing, loving, and serving our Lord Jesus Christ within our parish and beyond. We are known throughout the Archdiocese for compassion and willingness to serve others. More than 4,000 members participate in 50-plus parish ministries. St. Albert the Great School is a vital ministry to the parish community, preparing 650 students each year to become strong Catholic adults. We've outgrown our current campus facilities and face serious logistical challenges when trying to accommodate the various meetings, school clubs, and other organizations requiring meeting space. We are extremely limited in accommodating special events that connect us as a community. Wedding receptions, bereavement gatherings, fish fries, and artistic performances. It is necessary to create a new parish life center Parishioners of all ages, stages, and seasons of life will utilize this new structure. The Parish Life Center will positively impact the lives of present and future members of our St. Albert family, far beyond the building. I think the Beyond the Building campaign is very important as we think about the future planning of our parish and what is needed to meet all the needs of our parishioners and all the different ministries that, that we do currently. 
Um, at present, it can be very challenging trying to find areas for all of our various functions to happen during the day. So it, it would allow us to do a lot of things that we can't do right now in the present facilities. It would be wonderful to have a, a center where you could fit 100 to 200 people for, say, a pancake breakfast. Our ACES group is 300 people strong. It would be wonderful to put them all in one room and be able to have a luncheon. So a lot of dreams for the future and things that we could do if we just had the right space. Years of thoughtful planning and conceptualizing this space envisions meeting rooms and classrooms for ministries, retreats, scripture studies, children's clubs and activities, as well as other educational opportunities. A large multi-purpose room will allow for events focused on fellowship and hospitality. A stage will enable us to host inspirational speakers, musical concerts, and other presentations with adequate seating capacity to extend invitations to guests. A banquet facility with a kitchen will provide parishioners with a gathering space for baptisms, first communions, graduations, weddings, funerals, and other significant celebrations of life. Beyond the building. Beyond the building is not so much about a physical building as it is about how the building will be used to serve the needs of those carrying out our parish mission. It'll be used for gathering space for hospitality. It'll be used for classrooms for formation and education and it will be facilities for ministers serving those in need. One of the positive aspects is it's not so much what it will do for us right now, but what it will allow St. Albert the Great to become. A legacy for those ministers and those ministries yet to be dreamed. Let this